Hello and welcome, this is Joel with Zwar. We're a data technology and services company based in Austin, Texas. We're a Tableau Gold partner, and we're focused on helping companies solve their data problems from end to end, something we call the data value chain. And we're here today to talk about NetSuite, specifically how you can work with us and one of our products and Tableau to quickly create an end to end automated solution to make better reports and interactive dashboards connected to your NetSuite data a reality. So if your business runs on NetSuite and you don't yet use Tableau, this video is definitely for you. First, let's do a quick overview of what we're going to cover today in this video, taking on the NetSuite challenge. We'll start with a quick background for context, then jump into a solution demonstration of Mito and Tableau. Then we'll cover what we're offering here to make this a no brainer, try it out situation for you. All right, let's start with the why here. Why take on the NetSuite challenge? Well, if you're like most companies, your reporting revolves around exporting a bunch of files to Excel and then putting those into pivot tables and PowerPoints every week or month or whatever your reporting interval is. And most people know this isn't ideal, but let's just quickly cover what the problems are with this status quo. So problem number one is that this is just very slow and it makes real time business decision making impossible or very difficult, requiring a lot of manual effort on a regular basis to accomplish. Which brings us to point number two is that creating the same reports over and over again, weekly, monthly, is just draining on people and bad for morale and makes people think about things like this. Yeah, you apparently didn't put one of the new cover sheets on your TPS reports. Lastly, a data strategy like this is just risky. It makes it difficult to maintain a single source of truth if everybody's just making their own reports all the time. You don't want to go make new reports or dive into deeper data projects, so you have blind spots. And the whole slowness of it just makes it difficult to keep up in today's world where more and more companies are making real-time data-driven decisions on a regular basis. Now let's switch gears from the problems and talk about the opportunity. And this is why actually Zwar leaned into the NetSuite problem here, it's because the data captured in NetSuite is extremely valuable. It's a ERP and a CRM. It's got a ton of extremely valuable data for any business that runs on it. And when we think about things like merging forecasts from the opportunity side to the open orders, to the booked orders, doing predictive account management, customer behavior analysis, a growth watch, all of these use cases below are just scratching the surface and ones that we commonly help customers with out of the gate. And any one of these use cases can help pay for the entire project many times over. So with all this opportunity, let's get to the root of the problem here. What is it that's been holding most NetSuite using companies back from using Tableau? We know that Tableau is providing an entire data value chain for many thousands of customers out there with the 80 plus native connectors they have, Hyper, the extract engine acting as a form of storage, Tableau Prep allowing advanced transformation, and then the classic Tableau products, the creator, explorer, and viewer giving you self-service analytics at scale. So the big thing holding NetSuite companies back from using Tableau is in the pipeline storage part of the data value chain because Tableau does not have a native connector to NetSuite, meaning you can't just point Tableau at NetSuite and get your data in and start to build your dashboards and reports. It just doesn't have the native connector and it doesn't have a native connector to everything out there because APIs can be very complex. We won't get into detail about that and why Tableau doesn't have certain connectors because that could be a whole video in and of itself. So let's just move on and say that the fact that Tableau doesn't have a native connector to NetSuite has been a blocker for a lot of companies and is the reason why they aren't yet using Tableau. Now there are options, there have been options out there for companies that use NetSuite to use Tableau. The first one is exporting data from NetSuite and instead of going into pivot tables and PowerPoint, you go into Tableau, but with the manual effort it takes to keep that up, it's just not worth it for most companies and you're really not using a big part of the value of Tableau there. The second option would be to try to use the ODBC connection that Tableau has to NetSuite, but this is just not something that makes people feel very good after trying it. It is failure prone. It takes a bit of development skill. It's not something that people have a great experience with. And lastly, 
there are tools that can get data out of APIs on the market. There have been for years. There are ETL tools. Uh, when Zwar was looking at the market, seeing can we use something off the shelf to solve this problem? They all did bits and pieces, but they were all lacking in some way. And the idea of having to pick a pipeline tool and a database and hosting and uh, transformation, it's just too overwhelming for a lot of companies. And it, it's not what we wanted to do either. So in 2017, we started building a platform called Mido. Mido is designed to get data out of any API, put it into its own built-in database. From there, the Tableau suite can sit on top and do what it's best at, analytics, self-service at scale, and have it all be automated end to end. So Tableau is truly unleashed. And we call this a data staging platform. And what makes it a data staging platform? Well, it's three key things. First, a connector library to get data from anywhere and keep it in sync. A built-in database that captures everything so you don't have to go choose a separate database. And a job runner for modeling and general automation. The other thing that we knew would be very important is customization, the ability to handle customization. So Mido uses schema aware auto normalization to see all of the custom fields and objects, which is especially important in something like NetSuite so that it can get all of those along with the normal data and adjust the underlying database automatically as these new fields are created or changed as they come in. So you never have to go mess with the pipeline part of your platform. Also, the ability to just use standard languages for the jobs, JSON, SQL, Python, makes this platform extremely robust. And these general languages make this a platform that can truly be the core of your data strategy, no matter what you choose to do in the future. And lastly, we wanted to be able to schedule and alert every step of this platform. So this is the Zwar way. We use Mido to get all of the NetSuite data out of the API from the beginning of time, including all custom fields into the built-in database where it syncs from there. Then we build higher value reports and interactive dashboards in Tableau. And once you publish that to your Tableau online, you have a solution that is fully automated from end to end. So without further ado, let's jump into a demo of Mido where we'll show getting NetSuite data in for the first time and then connecting to it in Tableau. All right, so let's go to our brand new Mido instance here. Mido is single tenant, meaning every project that we spin up, every client has their own private instance with two-factor authentication. We're gonna log in here and we land on what we call the stage. This is where we place high priority jobs and sequences that you can monitor and keep track of. The navigation inside of Mito is fully customizable. This is just the default. So the first thing we're going to do is go to add and we see all of our connectors in here. We're going to add NetSuite. Now this is the one part that we will help you with. We're going to send you documentation on how to set up a user in NetSuite that will allow Mito to access the API. And then we just have to put in this information and click next. Once we do that, Mito starts scanning NetSuite, the instance that we have access to for all of the endpoints. And now we can see it's identified 244 endpoints and it's going to create a job for every single one. And we can uh, disable or enable these if we know we want to just pare down this list. You can see it's got literally everything, including all these custom records coming through. The custom fields within the endpoints will come through. We're gonna keep everything here and just click next. Now we specify the output. This is where if you had your own database already, you could point to that, but we're just gonna use the built-in database, the local database that's built into Mito, and we're just gonna call the schema NetSuite and hit save. Now Mito goes ahead and creates a master sequence here with all of those 244 jobs for every single NetSuite endpoint. That will be sitting on the stage here and you can see it's set to run manually. In other words, when you click on it and it's never been run before, what we're actually gonna do instead of running this whole sequence is go make a new sequence. And we're gonna do this because we know we just want a few things to get started with our use case here. So we're gonna call this NetSuite High Priority IO for 
in out or a sync job. We're going to tag that to the stage and we're going to tag that with NetSuite. And the jobs we want, the things we want for our first use case here is going to be invoice and customer. So we're just going to do some basic revenue analysis on the invoice and customer endpoints. And you know, if you used cash sale or some of the other revenue endpoints, you'd want to pull those in, those in too. But we're just going with a company here that only uses invoices to make revenue. We're going to schedule this hourly. We're going to set it, keep it as a never timeout situation. We want it to notify us if there are errors ever, but we do want it to continue on error so that one table doesn't keep the other one from running. We'll just get a notification and then we can go figure out what's going on. And we're going to go ahead and submit this. So this is a new sequence now that we've created. And when we go back to the stage, we can see it sitting here on the stage next to our main NetSuite sequence, which I'm actually going to go rename to NetSuite main sequence. All right, we're going to go ahead and run our high priority sequence. So now what's happening is NetSuite is uh, connecting to Mito, Mito's connecting to NetSuite, and it's going to go get all of the data from the invoice and customer endpoints from the beginning of time. So the first time that we load data into Mito from NetSuite can take a little while, and NetSuite has a fairly narrow endpoint, so it can actually take a couple days the first time if you have a lot of data. So this is why during the trial phase that we're going to set up with you, we're actually going to get Mito set up and get the data you want from NetSuite pulling in before we start the two week trial. So we're not going to count that time. We're going to make sure that we get all of your data into Mito before we set you up with the two weeks with Mito and Tableau. And we can see that this is already done. So we get a little check mark here and uh, we don't have a huge demo instance here on NetSuite. So this only took 41 seconds to get the data in. Looking at the invoice table, it took 20 seconds to get 933 rows. The customer table must have been very similar. We can actually go here now and see this visualization of our Mino database. We've used uh, around 5 gig for these two tables out of our 200 that we have. And we're looking at the size on disk here. We can switch to row count. So the invoice table is 933 rows. In Tableau, we're just going to use the native Postgres connector. The address is the same as your URL. It'll be your company name.zwarbase.net. So it'll just be the same URL you use to log into Mito. The database will always be analytics. You'll have a username and a password, and then you can just sign in in Tableau. And now you can see what we've got in here. We've got the customer. So I'm going to go ahead and drag an invoice to initiate a connection to that, and then drag in customer because I want to join in my customer detail to my invoices. I'm going to set this to a left join here. This is another area where if you're not sure what you would do, if you're not sure that you can figure this part out, we can help you. And that's why it's good to have Zwar as not only the solution provider here, but we can provide services from end to end. So entity internal ID equals internal ID is the join key between invoice and customer. And we're just going to keep this as a live connection here. And we are now in Tableau. And we can start dragging and dropping. So I'm going to look at my company names and my invoice subtotal. And I'm just going to go set a little default property here on the subtotal to make it display as a dollar value. And I'm going to go find my transaction date and just throw that up here so I get a yearly summary. Maybe add some row grand totals and sort on that so I have my top customers at the top here. And so we have just gone from no access to NetSuite to having key NetSuite data in a built-in database in Mito, fully hosted by Zwar. And now we're connecting Tableau to that data, dragging and dropping and analyzing. And from here, we're going to go ahead and build our first dashboard and publish the Tableau online.
So now that you've actually seen this solution end-to-end -end, Mito and Tableau and how we can help you quickly create automated reports and dashboards with your NetSuite data, let's talk about what we're actually doing here to make this something that you should try. So what you're actually looking at here is a sped up version of a one hour training video that we're including with this trial. So here's how you get started. So you're probably already at zwar.com slash NetSuite. If you're not, go there. At zwar.com slash NetSuite, there is a contact form. You're gonna fill in your information and sign up for this NetSuite challenge. We will email you first with access, set up instructions, and to set up a time to talk and answer any questions you have about how this whole thing works. Once your data is in Mito, we will then set up your two week Tableau online trial and Mito will also stay up for those two weeks. We'll deploy our Tableau templates that you just saw and give you access to training videos on how they were built step by step. So you'll understand how to connect to Mito and how to build things in Tableau and you'll be able to get value right away from this. We'll also make ourselves available during the trial to answer any questions you have about working with the data or things you're trying to accomplish in Tableau. We will make sure that you get a good understanding of the software and of the solution. And we'll also help you by the midpoint understand how custom developments can be added to what you're trying to do. We can do hands-on trainings and workshops. Basically, we'll help you scope your initial deployment strategy and figure out what kind of support you would like out of the gate. Or if you want to just take what we have with the trainings and the templates and see what you can do on your own, that's fine too. The bottom line is if you continue with the solution, if you decide that this is a solution for you, you can just subscribe to this whole intent solution through Zwar and the technology just keeps on running. What we're deploying here in the trial is your real private instance of Mito and it's your real Tableau online. We're a gold reseller of Tableau, so you just subscribe to the whole thing through us. Everything we did during the trial stays up and you have your first year of Mito and Tableau automating your NetSuite reports. So get started, fill out the contact form and we look forward to working with you.